Hey everyone, Frank Sausage here. Welcome to Frank Sausage Show, and I just want to take this time to say a quick thank you to everybody who helped make this season uh, as great as it can be with all the guests that I've had on uh, my show, and and just saying thank you uh, to all of them for being a part of it. I, I just I can't believe I can't believe how uh, successful this uh, season has been and uh, let me uh, give me the opportunity to do all the interviews that I wanted to do and have all the guests on that I wanted to have on and uh, there's going to be more coming up this summer uh, as we as I debut a, a new series just for the summer and then you know as the new season begins then we'll do more of the Frankie Slauson show you know season six and everything this coming fall but uh, we're starting a new series called Frankie's icons of pop culture and it's going to be kind of interesting because I've uh, already as we speak right now I've already done three interviews with three different people that are that I would consider you know icons of pop culture and even maybe one that no one's really heard of but because of what he's doing and because of what he loves to do it kind of makes you an icon it kind of makes you a, a, a success in that way I uh have an interview that I did with the Ultimate Thriller, uh, the Michael Jackson tribute uh, that's coming to uh, b my area in Bemidji. Well, I live about two and a half hours, three hours away from Bemidji, Minnesota, but uh, it's coming to the Sanford Center anyway, the same place where Mike and Cody and I went saw TNA Wrestling and where we saw the uh, motor, uh, the motocross, or not motocross, but the uh, monster truck event that they had on there over there, so this will be my third event, Mike and Cody won't be going with me this time, I'll be going by myself, which is fine, uh, I, I will explain more in, a, in another video what, uh, what I will be able to experience, uh, as it gets closer, when, as soon as June, June comes, you know, you'll hear it in the interview anyway, what they're going to let me do, uh, prior to the festival, or the concert happening, in less than two weeks from now. Uh, literally, it's a Thursday today, uh, May 23rd, so in less than two weeks from today, I will be having a good time at the Sanford Center anyway, rocking to some Michael Jackson, and got to talk to the producer, Robert Hyman, who's in charge of the whole thing, and this is not like your local bar band scene, trying to be, you know, trying to do a crappy impression of Michael Jackson, this is like a big, this is like the big, uh, it's, it's bigger than that, it's like, it's like, what Michael Jackson would have wanted to happen, you know, before he even knew it was going to happen, to pick a tr somebody to you know, to pay tribute to him, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and if you've never experienced something like that, well, you're going to come along for the ride with me, and for the first time, we'll be able to experience something like this, and yes, the cameras will be rolling, but I can't tell you why, not yet anyway, but you'll hear in the interview, and then the next, the second person I have that I interviewed already that's already in the can, which, as we all know, Radio Land, the radio talk, when they say something's in the can, that means it's already been done. I did an interview with a, somebody who definitely would be a, a, an icon of pop culture, Lou Ferrigno. Yes, the Lou Ferrigno, the original Incredible Hulk. Uh, the guy who kind of started the wave. I mean, the, the Incredible Hulk comic was around even before the show, but uh, he definitely has an interesting story to tell. It's a short interview, about a little over ten minutes. But it's still cool to say, hey, I got to talk to Lou Ferrigno. How many people have ever had that chance? <laughs> Not many. I would say that. So I'm pretty humble and happy that, to, to be able to air that interview. And then uh, so far, the third interview is with the horror actor, uh, underground horror actor, uh, uh, Ra or Parrish Randall. He's from Texas. And uh, this interview is pretty lengthy. It's like probably the longest interview I've done in a long time. It's almost an hour long. But he definitely, we talk about horror movies, we talk about all types of movies, we talk about why it's so important to love the business, uh, especially if you're an actor and everything like that, love what you do, no matter what, you know, is, you know, especially if you, if you don't love, if you haven't loved what you did in the past, try to love what you're doing right now, or if it's, especially if it's something that's a dream of yours. And there are definitely more icons that are, will be big icons that I will be talking to soon. I'm just not going to say anything because I don't want to jinx it. Uh, we got some big names coming, and, or I should say I got some big names coming, 
And plus, I'm going to be making my return to the radio station where it all started for me. After a two-year, a little over two-year hiatus, I finally get the chance to come back and do a radio show every Wednesday afternoon uh, at the Pioneer 9.1 Studios at the college where it all started for me, where I learned everything as far as, you know, even before I did YouTube and everything. Uh, that's where the interviews and all that kind of originated from. Uh, they let me come back because they they just built two different two new they added two new stations onto the onto the uh, onto the uh, the college. So they wanted me to host a uh, uh, old show, and I kind of want I want to do. It. Anyway, so got a lot of different names that that will be covered. To the station and everything, and we're coming to the to my show and everything for the, the summer, and as well as some original videos. I haven't done many original videos lately, but I just because, like I said before, the interviews are something that I are just something that I want to do as a format now because that's what I always kind of en entitled the show to be like, uh, like an actual show, like you see, like a late night TV, or you know, you see all these uh, different. Celebrities coming on like Conan O'Brien, Dave Letterman, uh, Jay Leno, and everything like that. And I, and that's kind of the format. I mean, I know I, you know, may, maybe with my luck, I, you know, I could make that happen even better. But just to be able to do this stuff, you know, at my house and and uh, and just and be able to come back to the radio station after being in the paper and everything like that, and and having you know just a whirlwind time of uh, being a uh, Appreciated for the things that I've been able to do, and it's only going to get better and bigger, or bigger and better. Uh, besides this, so anyway, I just want to say thank you. This will be the last video of this season until I release my new interview, my or start my interview series as of Saturday, June first, and uh, yeah. So, so the next video that you'll probably see that I will be doing will be, well, I'll I'll explain it. You'll hear it in the interview. I can't really say too much, but you probably have an idea. Anyway, just thanks to everybody for tuning in, and uh, uh, well, we'll see you. We'll see you this summer. Bye bye.